Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the numerical analysis. Today we will discuss about the newton raphson method. We will describe the convergence condition, what is the order of the convergence and finally we will give you the some examples. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar where you can find the playlist of the numerical analysis and its MATLAB code, where you can find the bisection method, regular falsy method, fixed point, uh, regular, uh, fixed point equation methods and many more are there as well as their corresponding MATLAB codes. So let's start with this video. So this algorithm that is the Newton Raphson method is used for finding the approximate root of the equation f of x is 0. The meaning of the f of x is 0 is like you have to find the root of this equation. You may have to find the root of this equation and so on. How you can find the approximate root that is used by using Newton Raphson method. So in this method what you can do you can start with the initial guess x0 you can take any of the x0 in the interval i you can say the interval i in which the root lies and then we can generate the new sequence that is x1 x2 and then so on by using this x0 but the question arises is how we can generate this sequence xn for the newton raphson method so for that we will derive this newton raphson method in an easier manner. How you can do? Let xn be the estimate root of the equation f of x is 0 and h is my very small interval between the two consecutive solutions. Then we can see we can find the uh, series expansion by using the Taylor series we can write here. So we can expand this as a Taylor series because f is my continuous function this is my continuous function and h is a very small interval. So then we can apply the Taylor series expansion at here. Now since h is a very small interval, so we can neglect the higher power and the second order derivative. So second order power. So we can neglect the higher and the second power of the h. So we can get as this equation. Now since we can assume xn plus 1 is a root of the equation. So what is the meaning of the root is? That means f of xn plus 1 is 0. I can substitute this value as here and then we can find the value of the h from this. I can substitute this value of the h at this equation and hence we can find the value of the xn plus 1 is here. And this is a sequence we can generate from this Newton Raphson method. This is the way you can generate the sequence. But the question arises is what is the what does the Newton Raphson method geometrically signifies? So we will describe you what is the geometrical representation of this Newton Raphson method. Suppose you are working in the xy plane and this is the curve of y is equal to fx. And since this curve is cut on the x-axis at this point, say b is my point, then this is called as the exact root of this equation f of x is 0 but what does the Newton Raphson method says this method say you can take any of the initial guess you can take any of the initial guess so I assume this is my initial guess at here so I assume x naught is a very is an approximate uh, root of this f of x is 0 then we can consider this point what are the coordinate of this point if I consider this is my say a1 or simply a what are the coordinate is x naught and this point is my f of x0 fine then a x0 f x0 be the point on this curve then we can draw the tangent at this point can you draw the tangent at this point you can easily draw the tangent so what is that this is a i call this is my e then what is the equation of the a e you can easily write this equation what is the point of this say this is my x1 y axis is my 0 so you can use the two point formula we can write the equation of the tangent at this point now this tangent cut on the x axis at which point at the point when x is equal to x1 and y is equal to 0 so i can substitute y is equal to 0 here and x is x1 at this one so from here can you find the value of the x1 you can easily find the value of the x1 from here so this is the first approximate root of this one again now this is my new approximate root i can take the coordinates of this point say this is my a2 what are the coordinates of this point is x1 comma fx1 again we can draw the tangent at this point 
it cuts the x axis say at the point x2 so we can find the tangent at a2 which cut the x axis at the point x2 and which is the second approximate root of this equation and similarly we can draw this again this the say a3 we can draw the root we get at a x3 again we can get here and we can get and so on continue in this manner we will get the better approximate root of the f of x is 0 in more elaborative way you can see like here if i simply take initial point here we can draw the tangent we get a new point we can draw the tangent we can get a new point until we will get as the exact root of this equation now as we can see it will be it look like say it's convergent does it converge for all the initial guess answer is may or may not be true so for that we need to check about the convergence condition what is the convergence condition for the newton raphson method so by using the newton raphson method we all know this is the iterative scheme and if you compare this equation with the fixed point equation method that we already explain you in our last lecture you may see this is available at my playlist of the fixed point equation method as here uh, you can see the fixed point equation method now what is the what is the fixed point equation method if i compare the equation with respect to this then what is the condition for the convergence so as i describe you in the last lecture what is the condition for the convergence is when their derivative should be less than 1 here then if you compare this equation with this one then this will be my g of x fine so because this is dependent upon the accent so i call as this is my here now what is the condition for the convergence this is my condition for the convergence so you have to find the derivative of g so what is the derivative with respect to xn so it will be 1 minus i can take this as a product rule or division rule so it's a f dash xn whole square i can take as a derivative of u over v fine so you can take as of this one now you can simply take as the lcm what will happen it will be f dash of xn whole square fine and if i say you can see this is the square if i open this this will be cancel out so the required expression will be here now i can multiply them you will get this is the required condition for the here what if once it is a convergent then we can see what is the order of the convergence again that's a very simple let's say alpha is the root of this equation and xn is my uh, is the approximate root of f of x is 0 then if i say this is my estimate root then what does it represents this is represents at error at the if i say nth then at the nth equation so i consider this as here e of n is alpha minus xn is the error e of n plus 1 is the error at the n plus 1 equation now since xn is my approximate root of f of x is 0 fine and alpha is my exact root of the equation so what is the meaning of that it means if i take the difference that will be approximately 0 or then we can say the difference of them is say delta which is a very very small number so definitely it will be less than of 1 so then i can substitute this value i can find the value of alpha from here because alpha is the root of the equation so we can say this equation satisfied what is my alpha i can found the value of the alpha from here alpha is my this is my zero then we can apply the taylor series and you can write here fine also by using the newton raphson method what is the newton raphson method this is my newton raphson method i can found i can write this equation as xn plus 1 minus xn is minus f of xn divided by f dash of xn i can found the value of this numerator part which comes to be here because you can see this is a negative sign i can adjust the negative sign by taking negative common from the left hand side which is here i can substitute this value of fn at this one so what will happen if i take this one so then i can take f dash of xn common so what will happen this is xn minus xn plus 1 plus alpha minus xn plus this quantity as such then clearly says this value will be 
cancel out. The remaining part is alpha minus xn minus 1. Now, I can use this term. This is the error at the n plus 1 equation and this is the error at nth equation. So, I can substitute this value at here and here, which is this. So, can you find the value of the e n plus 1 from this? You can easily find the value of here. Now, since this value is dependent upon the xi and the initial root, so I consider this number as a constant k. So, therefore, this number is my proportional to this. So, because of this value, because of this 2, we can say this quadratic has, this Newton Epsilon method has quadratic convergence. Now, once we are doing about the convergence condition, once we are doing about the order of the convergence, then what is the remark about this newton raphson method? The first one is, you can see that, first of all, before going to the remark, we can see when this process will be terminated. When, we all know, when this process will be terminated, when you find the difference of the two consecutive term, it must be less than of some epsilon, that is my desired accuracy. So, this accuracy in terms of 10 to the power minus 4 or you can say about the 5 decimal places or you can say about the 3 decimal places and so on. So, it means that if I consider the difference, so definitely when this derivative will be a large number. What is the meaning of that? This ratio, this part will goes to the 0 because once it is a very large number, this ratio will be 0 then you can say the difference of them once it will be zero then that they are the same thing so the first mark is whenever the derivative at the particular point any point is large what is the meaning of that when you can say dy by dx is large that means it goes to the infinity what is the meaning of that tangent is my vertical fine so fine this is the vertical so that means y of x is nearly vertical to the x axis so then the Newton method is very very useful when the slope is very large. On the other hand, this method is also used when you are using for the complex numbers. Like if you are talking about the bisection method, regular falsity method, fixed point equation method, secant method, they all are working only for the real roots. While the Newton Raphson method is also used for finding the complex roots. For example, this is x square plus 1 is 0. So, we all know the root of this equation is my plus minus iota, which is a complex number. In that case, bisection, regular, secant, fixed point does not work on this one. But Newton method successfully worked to solve the problem. The convergence of the Newton method is quadratic for the simple root that we already proved that. While if you have the double root, like if you have the equation of x minus 1 whole square is 0 then clearly says roots are my 1 and 1 that's a double roots are then in that case the convergence is my linear newton method is conditionally convergent and what is the condition for the convergent is when this condition satisfied for all x in the interval i apart from these merits or the remarks there are some limitations as well so, the Newton method is not applicable if the following conditions satisfy. So, what will happen if f dash will be my approximately 0? So, this value will go to the infinity. So, then it value will go to the infinity. So, what is the meaning of that? It means this value will be diverse. Second is, if you consider the initial guess is very far away from the required root, then the process may converge, but it converts to some another root of these equations. The last concept is the iteration method may consider the infinite loop. For example, if I see, say, this is my graph of any curve and if I consider the initial point at here, then if I draw this tangent at this point and then this is my x1, this is my initial point x0 or this is my x0 firstly, then if I draw this curve, if I found this tangent at this point then what will happen if I found the tangent at this point then you can say the tangent intersect at this again you can find this one again you are here so it means they are moving in the cyclic manner so that means they are infinitely many loop and you are unable to get the exact solution so that means the sequence may repeat itself resulting an infinite solution in this manner 
so that's why the initial guess x naught is chosen a very very careful man now how you can define the newton method for some special cases like here how you find the inverse of the number a that means how you find the inverse of this number a? i consider this as a x now if i look at this sequence here f of xn divided by here so if i substitute this value what will happen of the f i can consider this as minus 0 then you can say xn minus 1 by a what is the derivative is 1 so once you solve it is a constant so that is a nothing because it what is the meaning of that it means x1 is my 1 by a x2 is my 1 by a and so on so but that is not the convergence root because if i consider x is a is my half so that is not the convergence root so in order to apart from that how you can do i can rewrite this equation as ax minus 1 is 0 or 1 by x minus a is equal to 0 i can consider this is my fx fine then what will be my derivative you can say the derivative will be my here then you can substitute this value in this given equation you can get here i can take the lcm and you can get as of this so clearly says if you take x naught as the initial guess x1 something x2 is something and all are different and until they are convergent to some unique point second case is when you are finding to the inverse square root of the a so if i consider this as a x again we have to consider this as 1 by x minus of root a is 0 or or you can take as 1 by x square minus a as 0 that's on your choice so if i consider x is my inverse square root of a then i can consider f of x is my this f dash is my here substitute this value into this formula we will get this expression and if you take the lcm you will get as here the last special case is how you can find the square root of a again you can see if i substitute this value in in this case f over f dash what will happen if i consider this is my f then what is the f dash f dash will be one if i substitute this value here then you can see this is my again root a which is again a constant so it means convergence is not there so we can rewrite the equation as of this nature then f dash x is here we can substitute all this value in this equation we will get this as this convergence condition so this is the equative formula for this for this newton Raphson method for the square root of a we will see how we can solve the examples related to the newton Raphson method in our next lectures till then you can simply like share and comment on my video best of luck students Happy learning always.